Good morning everybody, it's Anne Murphy here from Domez Felicity and welcome to this uh, live video to teach you how to crochet the basics and make a dishcloth or a washcloth. Uh, I've had a request from a few people in the group to um, teach how to crochet. I'm no expert. I learned many many years ago, over 40 years ago when I was about 7 or 8 years of age and I've just always remembered the basic uh, stitches. So um, it's helped me to make a few things for around the home, a few scarves occasionally, whatever I felt like, but mainly I like doing it because it's quite relaxing and it helps me to um, forget about things. You just sit and crochet in front of the TV or uh, just fill in a bit of time. And by doing that, you get a, a an item of clothing or something for the house as an end result. So let's um, turn the camera around and I'll get started. So what we need um, today is a ball of yarn so um, a crochet I think always um, a lot of people always use crochet cotton uh, it's a lot thinner a thinner yarn and it's good for crochet but it doesn't have that elasticity like wool does but it's a personal preference in my opinion if you're making a particular pattern they'll tell you exactly what ply of yarn to get what um, what thickness what color that sort of thing, but I just always use bits and pieces up that I've got. I'll just um, fix this camera up. This is going to be really interesting because I've never uh, done this sort of thing before in front of the camera. So I've just got a, a plain old um, yarn of wool from my stash. I've got a crochet hook. This is one that I've had for um, years. I've got a little um, number on them to tell you um, what size they are and they range from oh, I think point something something to um, just trying to get that in focus again to 10 up to size 10 so this is a 4.5 I think um, it's not coming into focus there's a little number engraved oh there we are 4.5 so that's that's just a, a five is halfway so that's just a norm a, a good size to start with and usually just a little um, pair of scissors just to to clip off when you're finished I've uh, done this up just to give you um, the basic stitches uh, these are the the main ones that you'll see in a pattern and they're abbreviated so when you get if you're following a pattern there's so many basic stitches, uh, basic patterns on the internet to make and when you get to learn what these abbreviations are you'll be making everything and anything all the time so a CH is a chain stitch, an SC is a single crochet, DC is double crochet, TR is triple crochet or sometimes um, people call it a treble crochet. If you see an asterisk um, or two asterisks, that, that's just to repeat the last instruction. Um, SK is skip, SLST is a slip stitch. So they're probably the most common ones. But there's also many, many tutorials for all the other different kinds of uh, stitches that are out there. And I've got a, I'll share a post later on um, when I get back to my computer to, that has oh, 18 or 22 different really basic uh, patterns that you can make for for items of clothing or things for around the home and I'll, I'll share that post with you as well. So to get started uh, what I did to demonstrate what the stitches look like was I made up a couple of um, simple squares. When you buy cheap yarn you get little extra balls like that in your work but that doesn't matter but this is an example of single crochet and you can see that it's quite close together so that's really good you know if you wanted to make something that you're going to wear or you wanted to keep yourself warm it's really close you could make yourself a, a rug make a whole lot of um, 
same coloured squares or different coloured squares that were contrasting. Sew them all together and you've got a really um, good warm rug that'll that'll keep you warm. Um, you can make it really long into a scarf. Or this is the kind of stitch I think that uh, when if you've been in the group and you've seen those clothes baskets, if you use a, a thick hook and really thick yarn, uh, this is the kind of thing that it will produce. So it's really quite firm and solid. The other thing is you don't, I wanted to mention, you don't just need cotton or wool to crochet with. You can crochet with just about anything. There's, you can crochet with ribbon, you can crochet with plastic. My nana used to cut up the, the bread bags and use that to crochet. Um, the plastic bags, you can crochet with t-shirt yarn. So if you um, cut up all your t-shirts into really long strips uh, into about oh, one centimetre wide I suppose you can crochet with a thick hook with those and make yourself a bath mat or um, a bag or or anything so that's an example of single crochet this one here is an example of double crochet and you can see that it's um, got holes through it through the pattern so this is probably my favorite thing to do because you get it it's quick to go through and you get um, your end result really quickly it's quite nice uh, it's a bit stretchy good for clothing as well if you wanted to make yourself a vest or something like that um, it's quite good so you can see that it's curling um, too as you go don't worry about that we can fix that when we're finished and I'll show you what to do with that so that's double crochet example and this is um, triple crochet or treble and you can see again it's it's the stitches are quite long and there's more holes in it and um, it doesn't take you long to get get through that so that's also good for a scarf or or other things things that you want to get done really quickly and same again you can use make these as squares and um, use for dishcloths or washcloths so you know this is wool i don't i think it's just an acrylic wool but if you've got some sort of yarn that was really soft they make excellent face cloths or washcloths the other thing you can do is make two or just um, fold it in half and make it like the the length of a cake of soap and just sew it up around the edges and pop your cake of soap in and tie a ribbon around and you've got a really good uh, soap saver you know you can give yourself an exfoliation while you're um, while the soap, so, um, cake of soap is inside they, they make excellent um, gifts as well and don't worry about these little um, tails on the end I'll show you how to uh, get rid of them too we don't want to cut off too far to the edge because it will unravel like a lot of my crochet jobs do so <laughs> um, like I said, I'm no expert, but this is um, what I can do just to make some handy, useful things for around the house. So this is the double crochet, which we're going to do today. And I think this is a, a good size for a, a dishcloth. You can see it's probably about as big as my hand. Those little bumps in the, in the crochet will help to get rid of, um, you know, washing the plates and that sort of thing. It's also good for a washcloth as well if you're, Want to exfoliate or you know gently wash your face and they also make um, really good gifts so if you you know you want to thinking of some really simple things to make for teachers or friends and that sort of thing this is one of my washcloths that I think belonged to my um, nana and um, I think it's part crocheted part knitted but you know you just fold it up nicely with a cake of soap and a a nice ribbon you could get a nice bottle of body wash or um, hand soap make your own hand soap liquid hand soap tie it with a pretty ribbon and um, that makes a really nice gift and I'll just unravel that just to show you um, this one's a bit bigger so it was a bit fancy it's been done on the diagonal and I, like I said I think that's knitting with a crochet edge but um, yeah, you can do it in stripes. You can, you know, do alternate um, colours. You could go around the edge 
with a contrasting color, whatever you like. So let's get started. Now, a lot of people, um, you've got to start with a slip knot. So a lot of people do this thing where they thread the, wrap the wool around their fingers, their two fingers, a couple of times. It doesn't matter how hard I try, I just can't um, seem to grasp that. So what I do, I'm going to, I'm going to not look at the camera for a while. I'm just going to be looking at my work. So I hope, hope you can see that. So you get your yarn, you place that, uh, cross it over like that, and then you flip, flip it over, and then I hope I'm going to be able to do this. Put your hook underneath that part there and grab that and pull it up and there's your slip stitch. They call it a slip knot, I mean. You can see that as you tighten it, it will... Will it? That's just done a knot. Sorry about that. Let me try again. So we cross over. Place it down like that. Maybe put our hook through there. There we go. I did a knot instead of a slip slip knot. And see how it can go up or down. So I'll do that one more time. And you can always stop this video if you're watching on the replay and uh, watch it a couple of times. So place your yarn over. Flip that over. Just grab that thread and pull up. And that's your slip knot to start. So I hope that I don't go off out of focus or anything. So you just need to find a way. I, I used to watch my auntie uh, crochet and she'd be going like this and, you know, it'd be going so quick. I'm probably a little bit of a novice still in the way I hold it. Maybe I'm not holding it properly, but it's just kind of like whatever you feel is comfortable, a bit like a pencil or chopsticks. If you can um, grab that tail and keep that um, in your uh, held in your little fingers like that, it just gets out of keeps out of the way. So you always start with chain, that's CH, the chain stitch, and yarn over. So we're always going yarn over. That's what that means if you see it in a pattern. And all you're doing for a chain stitch is yarn over, and you're just pulling through that hole. So a chain stitch, CH, yarn over and pull through that hole. And you just keep going, yarn over, pull through that hole. So I've done three. I think I did, um, for the pattern that we're doing today, I think I did 27. So that's three. Let's go through and do 27. So four, Well, maybe not, I won't, I'll just do 15, but 27 is usually um, good. I think that was about 15. You can you can see um, as you're crocheting your chain how wide it will be. If you wanted to do a really um, like a crocheted belt or something like that, you know, this would be as, as wide as your finished um, project. So that's what a chain looks like, a series of little hearts or Vs all um, interlocked together. And that's how you get started. So to do the next row, all you need to do is turn the work around and now your um, chain stitches will be on this side and your yarn will be on this side. Same again, just grab that yarn with your fingers if you can. Now this is always going to be a fiddly part if you've never if you've never crocheted before it might feel quite uncomfortable or cumbersome but we're doing a double crochet so when um when you look at one of those stitches they're usually about 
two um, two chains high. So what we want to do is kind of create like a fake uh, double crochet already at the start. So we want to leave two chain there and then go into the third one, into the third chain. So you just, well, I'm doing a double crochet. So um, I'll show you a single crochet. I'll do a row of single crochet first. So you don't need to yarn over or you, we're going one in because a single crochet is usually only one chain high so leave one and you just go in to the center of that little V push that through and then all you're going to do then is grab your hook and pull it through so now you've got two loops on your hook and you pull that right through and that is a single crochet same again you just go into the next hole see you've got nothing to really hang on to other than that chain so it's just can be a little bit um, harder so that's single crochet oh, sorry into that little V again Pull the thread through, single crochet, and there's your <coughs> pattern starting to form. I'll just quickly go through and finish that. My auntie was a real whiz at anything really, crochet, knitting, quilting. She, she'd sit in front of the TV and have a whole duchess set crocheted um, in a couple of hours. You see how your pattern is starting to form? You just go into those little V's. I might just show you um, how to start with a double crochet as well. The only difference with a double crochet now is you've got to wind, you've got to yarn over before you go into the little hole of the V, push it through, grab the, th grab the yarn and now you've got three uh, loops on your crochet hook. You go through two and you go through another two and that's a double crochet and you can see the the difference in the size the double crochet is just that little bit taller so that's the only difference between a, a single crochet I'll just finish this row off as um, a single but if you wanted to if you wanted to make this double crochet um, dishcloth that's um, what you'd be doing is the yarn over into the little V but I'm just showing you a row of single crochet at the moment it doesn't matter if you get little um, pick up other little bits of yarn or whatever along the way you know I'm I'm a perfectionist I suppose but you know um, it's only for me I'm the only one I'm that's going to see it unless it was for a gift and I'd probably take a little bit more care um, into that last one and that's it now to start off the next row because we're going to be doing a double crochet we're going to do two chain which will be will act as um, a double crochet on the edge twist your work around remember grab that little tail in your in your fingers your little fingers just make sure your um, hook is around the right way now we're going to be doing double crochet which is yarn over and you can see from here on in it's going to be really easy because you're not looking for the little um, 
hole to go in there you're actually just going to go into a hole in your work so you can see there's a hole there push that through pull the yarn through two and two and there's um, there's like your fake double crochet and then your first double crochet so yarn over go through the hole and as it gets bigger it will be easier to hold pull through two pull through two yarn over go through the hole that's already there pull it through two and two and that's basically all crochet is you know you can um, you can see how quickly it comes together there's the hole pull it through two two in through the hole pull it through two two and that's our pattern starting to form I'll just finish this row and I'll show you a, a treble pull it through two two and that's this is a double crochet that I'm doing now push through that hole pull your yarn through two two Two, 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 two. <laughs> uh, nearly finished. Through the hole. And then the last one. And that's your row of double crochet done the first row was single and this one's double and you can see it's probably twice the height of the single which makes sense turn your work around grab that little tail in between your fingers I got the, oh there's the tail oh no I got the yarn now so now I just want to demonstrate um, triple crochet or treble so that is a matter of just going yarn over twice and you can see now that um, we have where's the hole so there's our hole there bring your yarn through and now you can see we've got four loops on the hook so we only want to take through two at a time it's a little bit harder that's two, that's two, and that's two. And that's a triple crochet or treble. So yarn over twice, in through the hole, yarn through, take off two, take off two, and another two. So that's that will give you a, a result a lot quicker too because the stitches are quite long but I'll just um, keep going so yarn over twice the hole that I'm looking for you can see that there's holes there two 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 yarn over twice in through the hole two 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 yarn over twice in through the hole pull the thread through yarn through two 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 when you start getting um, into patterns you know it will give you clear instructions you know it'll might say join two stitches together or um, you know bring through three together or you know go back in to another stitch it'll tell you exactly what you need to do but this is all just very basic and it and it works and it gets you a result really quickly I've made all sorts of things over the years granny squares um, 
rugs and cushion covers and scarves and dishcloths and whenever the mood strikes me to crochet. It's more of a winter activity for me because I don't really like holding wool in the summertime as those here in Australia will um, attest to. Yarn over twice, in through the hole, two, whoops, one, two, in through the hole, one, two, and one more. Two, two, two. And there's your treble or triple crochet. And you can see the difference between the three, how um, narrow the single crochet is compared to the double and then to the triple again. So, um, and if you wanted to do uh, continue with treble, you just do the three chain again and then you go. Um, into that hole there this you know as you're working along this easily identifiable holes that you just poke your work through and then when you want to have a break you just pull this um, yarn so that it, it won't unravel and just keep that um, quite long I just normally uh, put it on my work like that and then stick my crochet hook through and I've got a little bag I just couldn't um, find it and it keeps my yarn um, clean and stops it from rolling around on the floor and um, I actually sell them in my store so if you wanted to um, check them out I'll drop the link in a bit later get rid of that thread so um, that's how you do the basic stitches now if going back to the one that I've already done with these little um, tails or when you I'll show you how to do that it's quite easy when you've come to the end of your work and you've decided that you finished that's all you want to do um, I don't know of any other way but this is all I do I just cut that cut that um, loop pull it through and it's done now you could I suppose do a little knot or something I don't know maybe an expert might tell me different but um, that's all I've ever done just got to, oh, I'll, I will try and get that a bit closer but all you need to do is just crochet these little tails back in on the work and you've got less chance of it unraveling so you can do that anyway you've just got to uh, put your hook in through um, the work anywhere um, go through again and we're just slipping that on you're just picking up that little tail and we're not putting the yarn over we're just um, pulling the hook pulling the yarn through so we pull it through and then pull it through the the hole on the um, the loop on the hook go through again pull it through and then pull it through on itself probably one more and it's just finished that off and you could clip clip that um, a little bit closer to the edge and that just gets rid of the, the tail like I said you can crochet squares together you can um, use a thick uh, a large needle with the same matching yarn but also with the curling I don't know what why that does it I haven't really researched it but there's a what you can do is called blocking and what you do is I've just got a, a 
cushion here, an old cushion and an old a cloth nappy. And what you do is just get a um, spray bottle of water. Just give it a light spray of water. And place it on the towel. And I've got some pins here in my pin cushion where it's curling up. Just pin them in. This will help you, um, you know, stretch it into shape a little bit better because the water will um, should dry the wool in. So that's um, all nice and straight now. I'll just show you that, and you just leave that overnight. As of course you'd um, just sew that um, crochet that end in as well, but that's just um, called blocking. And that's pretty much it. Uh, another thing I, I just wanted to show you: it doesn't matter if how thick the yarn is or how fine it is. This is one project that I made um, many years ago. I think I was probably in my early 30s. And I wanted to do, I wanted to try my hand at doilies because I was quite daunted at first and I thought, oh, it's so difficult. You know, how do people do it? And it really is exactly the same stitches. It's just the cotton is finer and the um, crochet hook is, is smaller. And you can see all of those stitches there are just chains there's some um, double crochet and uh, triple crochet in there I actually um, I thought you know doing all of this part seemed to be easy but then I had to make each one of these was a separate separate motive that I had to make um, separately so you can see how many there are but I just wanted to show you that like I do love doilies, so um, there's a lot of people out there that don't. But this is just a project. This is, you know, with the basic crochet skills, this is the sort of thing you can do eventually just by following a pattern once you get to know those um, stitches and you feel comfortable with it. But there's just so many things to do. So um, I hope you enjoyed this, um, this tutorial on how to crochet. This was... I know that that's, this is the treble, but this is your um, washcloth. You know, you just, however, I said about 30, if you do chain, uh, uh, do 30 chain across, and then you just keep going until you've got like a square. I'll take that off of there for now. That was just to show you blocking, how to get rid of those curls in your work. But that's, um, that's your washcloth or your dishcloth. Wash the dishes, wash your face, give us a gift. This is the um, one of mine that I had just to show you how you can give them as gifts. Do a nice little custom um, tag saying made by me and people will love that. So thank you very much. I'll just... Um, Turn the camera around, you can see that I've been sweating, hoping that <laughs> that worked for you. I'm pretty novice at teaching people. The only te people that I've all, uh, the only person I've ever taught before was just my daughter when she was about eight, but she's not really into it that much. She did make a scarf, I think, but that was about it. So I'm um, going to go and enjoy my coffee. And run down to the shops for a few things so i hope you enjoy the rest of your day and thanks very much for watching bye